New developments tonight in the case of a Spokane man suspected of sexually assaulting women downtown and along the Centennial Trail. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. KXY 4 Jeff Humphrey was the only reporter in district court today when Jonathan Smith was told he faces a host of new charges and more serious penalties. Up until now, Jonathan Smith has been charged in municipal court with 11 counts of fourth degree assault. Detectives believe the attacks involving Smith swatting unsuspected women on their backsides are sexually motivated. The problem is the city doesn't have a law barring that type of sexually motivated attack. Fortunately, there is a state law that deals with sexually motivated fourth degree assaults. And that's why today Smith appeared in district court on new state charges. They amount to 11 and gross misdemeanors that collectively carry more time behind bars. Also today in court, it was revealed Smith told a detective he's been a sex addict since early childhood, a consumer of pornography, and that by his recollection, he actually slapped 30 to 50 women. Smith also confided in almost every incident he was sexually aroused before, during, or after each attack. Today, he pleaded not guilty to the new charges, but last week wanted to accept responsibility for what had happened. I would just like to say that I'm not trying to avoid any of this and that I am truly sorry for my actions. That's it. And so now if Smith is convicted as charged here in district court, that sexual gratification aggravator, that could get him more than just a tough prison sentence. It also may result in a judge ordering that Smith give up a sample of his DNA. That way, if he chooses to offend in the future and leave evidence behind, it'll be that much easier to rearrest him. Reporting in district court, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.